What's up, YouTube? I'm back again, and um, I got a very interesting topic request. I don't get too many of these, so feel free. If you got a topic request or something you want me to talk about, feel free to hit my inbox on YouTube or hit my personal Facebook inbox. But anyway, it's from one of my uh, lady friends, and um, she wants to know what I think about this. And this is a question for all ladies. Now, um, she's conflicted as to whether to hold her man down or wait for him to get out of jail before they continue their relationship. And that's the question. Ladies, should you hold him down or do, should you wait for him to get out of jail before you continue your relationship with him? Now, before I give my input on this, I've got just a couple of questions for y'all ladies. First question is, um, what did he do? I mean, is it a serious crime? Is it a minor crime? Is it a misdemeanor? Did he go to jail for harming you? I mean, is it assault or something like that? Or did he go to jail for drugs? Or did he go to jail for a, fe a class one, two, three felony? I mean, you know, for peeling a nigga's wig back or something like that? Yeah, those major crimes, you need to leave them alone. Uh, number two, um, has he been in jail for this before? I mean, like, is he a repeat offender? I mean, like, is it like once a thief, always a thief? I mean, did he rob a bank or something like that? You know, if so, then, you know, that ain't good for you. Number three, when he gets out, has he learned his lesson? Will you have to worry about him doing some shit like this again? Because nine times out of ten, a lot of these dudes have not learned a lesson and probably end up going back to jail for the same shit. But, I mean, some, some people stick it out, you know, for days, for months, for weeks, for years. And the fourth thing I gotta ask, is he worth going to jail for yourself? Because a lot of these girls get in relationships with, you know, trappers and these wannabe drug and shit like that. And then they down for the cause and they claim they ride or die chicks until the second, like, you know, he faces the time and he could be doing some, you know, decades or whatever. Then he places the blame on her and says that she was in on it too. And she gets in trouble just as much as he does. And, you know, both of them go to jail because she don't want to snitch. You know, those are the kind of guys that you really do need to leave alone. And, um,. Is he going to jail for day for you know weeks, months, years, decades? I mean, you know, something along the lines of that. I mean, because by all means, if it's a misdemeanor, if it's something minor, if he's in jail for 90 days, I mean, if it's three months or less, then you, you can wait that long. You can wait 90 days. Six months, maybe you can wait that kind of long. I mean, like, I guess it's not that long to some females. I mean, but if I was a woman, it would be, I mean, like, I wouldn't wait longer than a year for him to get out there. And like I said, even if he does get out, it doesn't mean that he's learned his lesson. Because if he's a drug dealer or if he's going to jail for, you know, domestic violence, if he's going to jail for abuse, then that shows that he loves the streets, he loves dealing drugs, and he loves the life of crime more than he loves you. And if that's the case, you need to let him go. And if the shoe is on the other foot, I mean, if a man, a man wouldn't even wait a week. If his woman is going to jail, he wouldn't even wait a week to try to find a new relationship. Or if he did, then he'd be doing something along the lines of this. He'd be like, hey, baby, I'm going to hold you down when you get out of jail. Like, out of jail. Once you get out of jail, then we can continue our relationship when we left off. But I'm just going to let you know ahead of time that I'm going to be having sex with other women waiting on your ass. Yeah, and that's pretty much how it is for men. And I do want to go out on the record to say this, but 90% of the women who say this, I'm not going to have sex, I'm not going to date, I'm not going to mess with any other, mess with or talk to any other men while you are in jail, while my man is in jail. 90% of y'all is lying. Do you want to know how I know you're lying? Because I have homies who have had sex with women whose man was in jail. And yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I, I can't really describe it, like I said, because I don't really want to get too much into it, but yeah, 90% of women who say they can hold their man down and not have sex with any other men are lying, and this could also come as a, um, a hazard. Fellas, be careful we wet mess with a, a, a chick who got a man in jail, because if he gets, because once he gets out of jail, and you catch feelings with her, or he finds out about you, he could come after you, and that could be bad for the both of y'all. But I'm not going to tell anybody not to do anything, but, you know, this is a, an advice channel, a relationship channel or whatever, and this is a vlog channel. So I'm not going to give y'all bad advice. I'm just going to say that if you're going to do something like this, then you better do it at your own risk. But, yeah, anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about for today, guys. Um, Yeah, anyway, ladies, how long would you hold your man down if he gets locked up? And, fellas, if the shoe's on the other foot, would you do the same? Anyway, I'm out, y'all. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.